Hi, I'm Julie Canjo, and I work in youth services at the Tinley Park Public Library. We are celebrating Children's Book Week, a national celebration to honor children's literature. Each day this week, on our library's Facebook page, you can find some of our staff members reading their favorite books and poems. Not only will you be able to hear great stories, but you'll also get a sneak peek at the different departments that make up our great library. We're calling this event Read Around the Library. So come on, let's get started. Let's head up to Youth Services to hear our first story. Hi, I'm Mrs. Ahmad and I work in the Youth Services Department at the Tinley Park Public Library. What I love about my job is that I get to do some of my favorite things, like visiting schools and talking to the students about books and helping you find what you're looking for when you come in. But the best of all is reading stories. And today I'm going to read one of my favorite stories, My Lucky Day, written and illustrated by Keiko Kaza. This is a witty and clever story and it has a fun twist at the end. Just the illustrations are so humorous, it will surely get a chuckle out of you. So let's get started. My lucky day. So one day, a hungry fox was preparing to hunt for his dinner. As he polished his claws, he was startled by a knock at the door. Hey rabbit, someone yelled. Are you home? Rabbit, thought the fox. If there were any rabbits in here, I would have eaten them for breakfast. When the fox opened the door, there stood a delicious looking piglet. Oh no, screamed the piglet. Oh yes, cried the fox. You've come to the right place. He grabbed the piglet and hauled him inside. This must be my lucky day, the fox shouted. How often does dinner come knocking on the door? The piglet kicked and squealed. Let me go, let me go. Sorry, pal, said the fox. This isn't just any dinner, it's a pig roast. My favorite. Now get into this roasting pan. It was useless to struggle with, with, uh, with the fox. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but there is one thing. What, growled the fox. Well, I am a pig, you know. I'm filthy. Shouldn't you wash me first? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. He is filthy. So the fox got busy. He collected twigs, he made a fire, and he carried in the water. And finally, he gave the piglet a nice bath. You are a terrific scrubber, said the piglet. There, said the fox, now you are the cleanest piglet in the county. You stay still now. All right, said the piglet, I will, but... But what, growled the fox. Well, I'm a very small piglet, you know. Shouldn't you fatten me up to get more meat? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, said the fox to himself. He is on the small side. So the fox got busy. He picked tomatoes. He made spaghetti and he baked some cookies. And finally, he gave the piglet a nice dinner. You are a terrific cook, said the piglet. There, said the fox. Now you are the fattest piglet in the county. So, get into the oven. All right, said the piglet. I will, but... What, 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 said the fox. Well, I am a hardworking pig, you know. My meat is awfully tough. Shouldn't you massage me first to make more tender roast? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, said the fox to himself. I do prefer tender meat. And so the fox got busy. He pushed and he pulled 
and he squeezed and he pounded the piglet from head to toe. You give a terrific massage, said the piglet. But the piglet continued, I've been working really hard lately. My back is awfully stiff. Could you push a little harder, Mr. Fox? A little to the right, please. Yes, yes, now just a little to the left. Mr. Fox, are you there? Mr. Fox was no longer listening. He had passed out exhausted. He couldn't lift a finger, let alone a roasting pan. Poor Mr. Fox, said the piglet. He's had a busy day. Then the cleanest, fattest, and softest piglet in the county picked up the rest of his cookies and he headed home. There he is. What a bath, what a dinner, what a massage, cried the piglet. This must be my lucky day. When he got home, the piglet relaxed before a warm fire. Let's see, he wondered, looking at his address book. Who should I visit next? Fox is already crossed out, and now he's got wolf and bear. Let's see. Looks like he's repeating the whole thing with Mr. Bear. The end. Thank you for listening.